bird bath basics, the best way to attract birds. When it comes to the world of backyard birding, I think bird baths are really underestimated and are surprisingly even more affordable than feeders and feed. So in this episode, we're going into the basics of how to create and or improve your first bird bath. There will also be a bonus sneak peek at the end. First of all, location is very important when setting up your first bird bath. So ask yourself, is my bird bath not in the sun during the hottest part of the day? Otherwise, the water will quickly dry up. And also ask the question, is there a cover nearby but not so much that birds can't see predators approaching? And is there some purchase for birds to preen and investigate on? If you have a yes as an answer for all these questions, then you have a perfect spot for a bird bath. The next most important point is the bird bath itself. Before buying a basin or something for a bird bath, ask yourself, does it have a slippery bottom? If so, there won't be many repeat customers. Also, think about what the bird bath is made of. Glass and cement crack when water freezes in the winter. Plastic and other cheap containers are year-round solutions, but may uh, tear and scratch with time. Keeping water clean is important, so please change daily unless you have a primitive filter like I have, which allows me to only change water once a week. Water is also fine for bird baths, to prevent allergy and other pests. For green water fell from the sky is okay too. Depending on your needs, you can have a platform or brown bird bath. I personally like brown bird baths because they are more natural, but it's up to you to decide. Though this is not necessary, pebbles and stones make for a more natural and less slippery bird bath that birds will love even more. Now it's time for the bonus of today's episode. I have been working on different experiments at the bird bath by putting out other more unusual bird attractions like eggshells, pumpkin seeds, and cotton balls, and then seeing how they react. Some of these videos will come out soon, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching this Mule Nature Lover video. Tell me in the comments section below what types of experiments you want me to do on the birds. Thank you for your support.